Well, here you are, a miniature, highly detailed Gazanti class carrier made to be scale with both the new Tanta V4 that just came out this year and the old Imperial Light Cruiser from 2021. If you have either of these sets, I highly recommend that you go to the link in the description to get the instructions for this build off Rebrickable because it looks really good next to the official sets. But if you don't have either of these sets, you can still go ahead and pick up this mock because it looks pretty good all on its own. I did everything in my power to make sure that all of the shaping on this was as accurate as possible at this small scale. So between the shaping and the color accuracy that I managed to finagle in there, as you can see I got gray stripes going down the sides just like in all the source material I could find, it ends up looking pretty cool. But of course, when building a Gazanti, it's kind of hard for it not to look cool because it's just a really tough, rugged looking ship in universe and I love the design of the ship in general. But this mock does more than just look pretty next to the other ships that it scales with on the shelf. I managed to bake in a couple of play features into this and I mean play features in a very loose sense of the word. For starters, you can remove the TIE Fighters off the bottom of this thing, and as you can see, they are the same design used in the Imperial Light Cruiser, and you can swoosh them around, and then they're very easy to put back on. Sometimes when you want to take off a TIE Fighter, the um, attachment piece will end up coming with it, but there's a pretty easy fix for this. You just have to be a little bit creative with how you attach the TIE Fighters. Basically what I do is I just gently press it on there so that it's not completely 100% attached and then it is a lot easier to detach and you will not have the issue of the piece coming off with it. Aside from that though, the turrets on both the top and the bottom swivel around full 360 degrees. I'm sure that you probably were able to tell that that was the case just by looking at the way that this thing is built, but you know, it's worth a mention anyways. The bottom chunk is a little bit more special because in order to get the turret to sit flush with the rest of the model, you do have to angle it a little bit between some of the gaps on that tile piece. But once you attach the tile piece to the bottom, it turns pretty simply. Now, I've already shown this a little bit before, but the Gazanti does look pretty dang cool next to the Imperial Light Cruiser. This Gazanti is just a tad too big to be perfectly scale with the light cruiser, and just a tad too small to be perfectly scale with the new Tantiv that came out, but it's close enough that it's pretty much scale with either of them. I would show you how it looks compared with the new Tantiv, but I am filming this before March 1st, so I do not have that set in hand. However, I can show you this Gazanti next to the official Lego set from 2015. As you can see, they have pretty much the same proportions and they don't look too bad next to each other. I really do think that this miniature Gazanti turned out pretty good. And if you wanna make it even better, something that you can do is take a Sharpie and color the corner of a sticky note. From there, go ahead and cut out what is now basically a sticker. Do your best to make a rectangle, which obviously I did not make a very straight rectangle, but then you can just go ahead and plop that right on the front because, you know, the Gazanti kinda needs a windshield and you can definitely make it look a lot better than what I have here. It definitely can look a little bit funny at first, but You'll get used to it. I, I've gotten used to it. Just be warned if you do want to do that, be careful because if you take it off, you will get Sharpie residue on the Lego brick and you kind of have to wipe it off. It does come off after a little bit of wiping with your fingers. It's just annoying. But that covers pretty much all the details about the mock itself. If you liked what you saw, make sure you head to that link down in the description that'll take you to the rebrickable instructions. The instructions are only a dollar, and if you want to order the parts, it'll end up being somewhere between nine and thirteen dollars. So you'd pretty much be paying for a microfighter, only you'd be getting a build that's way cooler than a microfighter, 
and that can actually scale with some of your other sets that you may own. If that set is the Imperial Light Cruiser, it's really cool to have one of these flanking it. And if that set is the new Tantive, then it is equally as cool to have one of these to go against it. But whether you decide to get this or not, I appreciate you for watching this far. And if you did watch this far, that probably means that you enjoyed it. And you should check out some of the content on the end screen now. One of those is a modification I did to the 2023 Ghost that you also definitely want to get if you have the Ghost.